Blockchain Association addresses Sen. Warren's criticism of crypto hires. Last updated January 8, 2024, 2143 SD. 2 min redisclosure. Crypto is a high risk asset class. This article is provided for informational purposes and does not constitute investment advice. By using this website, you agree to our terms and conditions. We may utilize affiliate links within our content and receive commission. The Blockchain Association has published a public response to Senator Elizabeth Warren's criticism of the crypto industry's hiring of former government officials. In an open letter published on January 9, Blockchain Association CEO Kristen Smith addressed Sen. Warren's previous comments offering the association's partnership and stating that her organization would be receptive to engaging in discussions in an open and transparent manner. Sen. Warren had previously sent letters to crypto advocacy groups, including Blockchain Association and Coin Center, on December 18 last year, arguing that crypto was behind the financing of terrorist organizations such as Hamas and suggesting that many government officials were preparing to audition for digital asset lobbying positions while still holding office. In her letter to Warren, Smith said the Blockchain Association was fortunate and proud to consider many former military, national security, intelligence officers and law enforcement individuals among its membership. After leaving government, these public servants could have chosen from myriad well-deserved professional opportunities. But they were drawn to work in the emerging digital asset industry because they value freedom and creativity, Smith said. We believe crypto values are American values, Smith continued. Blockchain technology has demonstrated the potential to enhance financial inclusion and provide new wealth-building opportunities outside of Wall Street through direct ownership of assets. At its core, crypto technology reflects and enhances fundamental values integral to our country. Smith also asserted that the enormous costs of enforcing the Bank Secrecy Act would far outweigh any benefits, adding that her association and its membership would continue to exercise our constitutional rights by petitioning the government and speaking freely on this issue. The Digital Asset Anti-Money Laundering Act Warren, a vocal critic of the crypto industry, reintroduced the Digital Asset Anti-Money Laundering Act last year, which aims to extend Bank Secrecy Act requirements including know-your-customer rules to various crypto companies such as miners, validators, and wallet providers. The act would also prohibit the use of anonymity-enhancing technologies in crypto transactions. Shortly after the publication of Warren's letter in December, Coin Center CEO Jerry Brito posted his own response on X, calling the letter impertinent and a bullying publicity stunt. She says the public deserves transparency, but the implication of that view is that nonprofits deserve no privacy from government intrusion, Brito said on X. Surely she would see the problem in this if a right-wing senator sent as bullying a letter demanding transparency from a progressive advocacy group. Enter your email for our free daily newsletter or a quick three-man read about today's crypto news. Sign up. The site is protected by reCAPTCHA and the Google privacy policy in terms of service supply. MSRC equals HTTPS slash slash simg co slash p slash ml 300 jpeg all equals image class equals mgid equals newsletter pop-up img.